So we want to make sure we work this rear deltoids as uh, far as in his back because we had already did the, the pull with the dumbbell. And that's another thing that we're always making sure that we hit every aspect of the muscle. So we want to make sure they won't leave any part out. But again, it just gives you a different variation of how to hit the muscle. Everything is so traditional. Now you want to just take every take him and take the ex exercise out of a traditional state and get him into a different realm. We has to have an attack and, and, and again, stabilize itself, balance itself with different exercises with working those same traditional muscles. And also going back to his legs uh, with those kettlebells, working those shoulders, the top of the deltoid. Again, we're already working the rear delts, so we also compared that with working the, uh, the top of the, the lats as far as working the front part of the shoulder also with uh, those two exercises. Again, squat, uh, technique, making sure you're sitting down. Also too, when you swing that kettlebell up, you want to make sure that kettlebell is eye level because what we're trying to do is we're trying to work the front part of your delt. All right, as far as your front delt, all right, again, we work your rear delts. We want to hit that front part of that delt. So you want to make sure that your squat motion is in play and also bringing that kettlebell up to eye level to make sure that you're swinging that kettlebell. And also, again, making sure it's a rhythm. It's a rhythm type of exercise. So you want to get in a rhythm while you're bringing that kettlebell. You don't necessarily want to use your legs on that. You're squatting, but you want to use all upper body and use those shoulders on that, on that exercise. Sets of reps for actually uh, the shoulders. Uh, we did 15 reps, again, self-body weight. Kettlebell swings between 10 to 12.